Hi, this is Anton Fukori. Uh, I would like to talk to you about compartment syndrome and the technique of uh, measuring uh, compartments for interstitial pressure measurements. Uh, what we have in our emergency room is the striker instrument. This is uh, uh, our favorite uh, uh, way of uh, doing pressure measurements. Uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure that the battery uh, works. You turn it on and uh, you'll see that uh, there's a zero zero. And then the there's a package here that has uh, saline as well as uh, the connections to the transducer. Um, so what we normally need to do is simply open it, connect the saline, and insert it onto the device as well as the needle to the transducer. Then simply close it and then what you want to do is zero it at the point where you're about to do the pressure measurements and you, and you want to make sure there's no air in the system so you, you saw a few droplets there and then you're ready to measure again zero it right before you measure it. There are four compartments uh, in the leg and uh, uh, at this point we're going to measure the two most important compartments of the leg, the anterior compartment and the deep posterior compartment. And I uh, would like to just draw this to demonstrate uh, the compartments we'll be measuring uh, on this young lady. She has subacute compartment syndrome and uh, we will do interstitial pressure measurements on two compartments. Uh, this is the tibia and this is the fibula and the, this is the interosseous membrane and this is the anterior compartment and then this is the lateral compartment and the two posterior compartment. This is the deep posterior compartment and this is the superficial. So what we'll do is we're going to feel the tibia here, which is uh, superficial, easily palpated, and we're going to stick our needle um, anteriorly and the, for the anterior compartment and deeper to for the deep posterior compartment on the um, medial side. And uh, <clears throat> so to demonstrate, here's uh, the borders of the of the tibia. And this is the anterior compartment. This is where we're going to go for the anterior. And this is the edge of the tibia. And this is where we're going to go for the deep posterior. Similarly here, you can palpate the uh, tibia. This is the anterior compartment. And it's again tibia. And then it's become soft again. And about a, a finger breadth more medial and posterior. This is where we're going to go for the deep posterior compartment. Okay, lay down, please. All right. Again, we got. We're going to zero it. Make sure there's uh, there's no air in the system. And we're going to do the anterior compartment. We're ready to put some lidocaine. And inject. Do some labor breathing. No, it's just hurt, okay. like rebound hurting. And we got about f in the upper 30s to. And this is the. <clears throat> deep posterior compartment in the left leg. And it's also in the 30s, it's 35. Make sure that there's no air in the system. Wow, uh, that is high. Yeah, seventy. So, and that's again. Here's the uh, edge of the tibia, and inject about half cc of uh, fluid, and we see it's in thirty-eight. And this is the deep posterior compartment again. Here's the edge of the tibia. Going the deep posterior compartment and it's 35. So 